Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. I'm going to do a quick haul video. Now, if you've been watching my channel of late, instead of just showing you what I'm buying, I'm crediting the places where I get them, the record stores, flea markets, wherever I get, I get these things. I'm going to tell you where they were, and I'm going to show you what I paid. And the idea really is to give credit where credit is due and kind of share the wealth. I call this and I've been saying this for four years of doing my channel, this is the golden age of buying CDs. I find amazing CDs and get amazing deals because I get out there. I go to a lot of different record stores and different places, and I find them, and I want to help you if you're here on Long Island, you know, tri-state area, and you're visiting Long Island. These places may stick in your head because they're worth going to. They're phenomenal places. So today... Uh, well, a couple of days ago, I'm going to be talking about Looney Tunes in West Babylon. I've mentioned them a couple of times. Uh, definitely one of my go-to places. Uh, they had recently posted on their Facebook that they got 6,000 new used CDs. When they get used CDs, they're virtually new. And one of the cool things about Looney Tunes is they will do sales. So uh, they did a 30% off used CD sale the other day. They'll also do you know, a dollar or so off on new and other stuff as well. But I focus on the used CDs. And uh, I really had to control myself. I think they said they get 6,000 new CDs. They put them out sporadically over a period of weeks. So I just love to keep going back. But the stuff I find is pretty great. So let me show you six CDs. Um, I'm trying to get into my backlog by not buying, but... How could I pass up on some of this stuff? So uh, here we go. Uh, this is sealed. I got Steve Hackett. And this is called the Total Experience Live in Liverpool Acolyte to Wolf Flight with Genesis Classics. It is completely sealed. Uh, this is two DVDs and two CDs. And uh, sealed CD, they had it for $7.99. Now I also got 30% off. So let's put that one right there so we can see it. Got a new printer, by the way, as you can probably see. What else did I get? This was interesting. I had a great conversation with a viewer on my channel. We were talking about the Bob Dylan uh, bootleg boxes. Uh, and I have uh, all except for one uh, of the bootleg series. But I have two of the uh, Dylan box sets. And one of them I have is the Basement Tapes complete box set. And he happened to mention it. He was like, these boxes are so big, like you just you can't even listen to them. So this is the one that I currently have, right? Uh, one of the boxes. And this thing is just immense. And I agreed with him. I mean, what is there? Six, six, six fully loaded discs. And it's, you know, a lot of the same songs over and over again. And it's a fascinating listen. But at the same time, once you hear it, you're like, Ugh, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to deep dive into that again. It's just too much material. So all the uh, bootleg stuff that I have from uh, Dylan tend to be the two CD uh, sets that he did. So I decided in addition to having that one, I finally bought the Basement Tapes Raw, which is the two CD uh, distillation of that big box. So easier listening. And this one was $9.99 plus 30% off. So uh, that's really because of that viewer that I was, I was like, you're right. I'm never going to really listen to that box. Uh, this is also sealed. This is canned heat, uncanned, the very best of canned heat. I have seen this on occasion, never bought it. I don't have a single canned heat album. I do have some of their tracks on like compilations, Woodstock and some other ones. Uh, and as you can see, this is sealed, never opened. So they consider these things used because... They weren't originally selling them, but this is, as you can see, brand new and $7.99 plus 30% off. Then I found this one and I decided to go for it. This is in the 99 cent bins. This is Quango, live in the hood. And you're like, who the hell is Quango? Quango is an offshoot of Asia. Uh, after Asia broke up, they were going to reform John Wetton and Carl Palmer and uh, Dave Kilman, sir, on guitar and John Young. Uh, what happened was um, they were going to reform Asia. It didn't quite work out, and they did a side project. And this is the only recording I recorded live. And you can see it's pretty much a live Asia album with some Emerson, Lake, and Palmer stuff thrown in there. 
and uh, it's a really good performance. Um, and it was 99 cents plus 30 percent off. So that's fun to have. I'm an Asian fan. This is because another viewer a while back, and I always make a mental note, said you got to get some Brownville Station. Now I know Cub Cody used to read his column, and I'm a Long Islander. He's a uh, a New York guy. So I got uh, Smoking in the Boys Room, the best of Brownsville Station on Rhino Records. This stuff is mint, 18 tracks, booklet, the whole thing. And this was 99 cents plus 30% off. Um, I think I only know Smoking in the Boys Room. Last but not least, I got this Ramones live album. I didn't have this one. I like the Ramones. I don't have all their albums, but I got a bunch. And this is Loco Live, and this is Latter Day stuff, which I actually like. Uh, I mean, in a single disc, and this has uh, 32 songs. 32 songs on one CD. That's extraordinary, right? Uh, Loco Live, and this was also 99 cents, 30% off. So all these six CDs, and I controlled myself because I literally, I could have bought 20 CDs easily there. I mean, it had great stuff, imports, sealed stuff, but I really am trying to hold back. Anyway, I got these six CDs, and it costs a total of $21.99, Looney Tunes. you got to pay cash, though, to get the 30% off. So I uh, just want to share the wealth. If you are coming out to Long Island, you should definitely check out Looney Tunes in West Babylon. And uh, check out their website because occasionally they'll post that they're having a sale, 10%, 15%, 30%. They've even had 50% off uh, used stuff. So uh, you might have seen some of my whole videos. Let me know what you think of my selections. And then I'm trying to hold back a little bit as I get try to dig into my backlog a little bit. As always, I appreciate you watching. You stay safe, stay healthy. If you're new, hit subscribe. Check out my other videos. And I'll see you next time on The Alan Rosenberg Show.